Okay, so um, I'm quite excited about today because I've just come over to the new um, option on Google Drive and under more we've got this new option now saying Google Sites. So this is the first time it's actually shown up on my domain so I have not used it before. I'm going to go in and we're just going to have a look and see what we can find. So let's click on Google Sites and see what happens. Okay, so it's given me a little tour here and it's asking me to put some content in. So let's have a look. Insert, use the insert menu. I'm going to click on next. Okay, so let's have a, a title. Richard Poth. I can come up here. I can change that to different headings. I can make it a link if I want to. I can centralize it and do the alignment or I can trash it. Okay. So I can change the image and I can change the header type here. So let's have a look at what's the header type. Title only, okay. Banner and a large banner. Okay, so let's just keep it at banner. All right, uh, are there any other options? Yep, we can change the image. We can look at the images that are in the gallery there um, and then we can go to albums. We can do all the stuff that you would expect to be able to do. So upload, etc. So I'm just gonna close this. I don't need this. I'm gonna choose one of these nice ones here let's just uh, do the typing one and then select up here i'm going to give my site a title up here let's have a look undo and redo uh, i can preview it i can add editors so, so i guess the same sharing tools that you would get with normal google documents publishing um, we don't want to publish yet let's uh, click on this three buttons we can send feedback we can take a tour we can have a look at site analytics okay fair enough now we've got lots of different options down here. This is quite comprehensive. We can add a textbook, images, upload, embed. We can add things from the Google Drive. We can go to Google, we can add a Google folder. All the things that you could do from the old site seem to be here at the moment. Um, let's go over to pages. Uh, we've got the home page. Uh, let's add a page and see what happens. So let's uh, call this about me and click done. Okay, we can change the header type here as well. So if I want, and I can have a different banner, that's quite good. Um, if I want to, or we can just have the title. Let's just have the title on this one. We've got the menu that's come up at the top. I've also got this cog here. So I'm gonna click on this cog and see what happens. Or we can change it to a top navigation and a side navigation. So if I do a side navigation, um, and that's given me a menu here, that's quite cool. I like that. So let's close that down. Um, so I'm going to keep that side navigation on. I'm going to click on add page again. There's no other options here in order to maybe make it an announcement page, which you can do with the old sites. So that would be something that I would like to see. Okay, so I'm going to go over to themes now. I can change my themes. Um, I can change the color. Uh, color content, the style of the font looks quite good. Um, then, oh look, we've got some different themes here. Um, oh, I like that one. Uh, so let's keep it there. So let's go back to insert. I'm going to insert the text box. All right, so I've got my text box here. Okay, so there's my text box. I can move that text box. I can move it around. I can see, oh, I see, I can move it actually into my header if I want to. That's quite powerful. And then let's move it back. It's very intuitive there in, in being able to move things around. So if I was to add another text box, what's that going to do? So click here, and then I can move that here. So now we've got the two text boxes together. Okay, that's quite good. So let's put an image in now. So let's take an image. So let's put a school in there. There it is. Oh, I can change the size. That's quite good. Again, I can move this around to different places on the screen. And if I click here, I'm going to guess we can crop, I can crop the image. Um, I can make it full screen. I can add a link to it if I want to. I can replace an image. I can add uh, text to it. Um, the alt text. There we go. I'm going to move that in there. Um, I can change this one. 
maybe to here, let's see what that's going to do, and then I can move this, make this bigger, make it full screen, there we go. Okay, so there's, I can manipulate things around quite a lot here. Um, let's go back to my first page, let's go to the home, um, I can add a calendar, I can add a map if I want to, Oh, let's go to Google Forms, uh, and I can add a form here. Let's see what that looks like. Insert, uh, maybe it'll turn up in a minute. Okay, over here I can change backgrounds. I can put an image in if I want to. Let's have a preview, see what this preview looks like. Okay, it's interesting that the Google Form has, ah, oh, there it is. There's the Google Form, it's actually embedded into there. Okay, and then, the about me. Oh, I see. Actually, the sidebar has not appeared as a menu. There's the about me page. What does it look like on a phone? Ah, oh, there's the menu. Ah, oh, I see. We got the menu there. What does it look like on an iPad? Very nice. Okay, and on a computer, we get the sidebar here. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so I can add editors now if I want to add editors in the same way that you would with a normal Google Doc. Okay, so that's, um, all right, there's a, a brief intro introduction of using Google Sites. It seems very, very easy to use. I think you'd be creating Google Sites very quickly using this new Google Sites. Um, I think there's a few things that need to happen. Uh, I'm looking at different types of pages that we can start adding here. Um, I can't see of any, um, any way that you could change this. I mean, you can rename stuff here. Um, I'm going to publish this now and see what happens when I publish. Uh, so I can give it a site name, anyone at my domain or anyone on the web, allow my site to appear in search. Okay, so it's it's all your basic stuff. Yeah, so that's the new Google Sites. Um, have fun with it and um, let's see what we can create.